Yahoo! We have flying saucer fruit to pick today. Okay, I wanted to show you guys what this looks like. So, here we have some ripe fruit ready to pick. There's another one. This one here is not ready. This one I think is just about ripe. And the rest are just flower buds. So, let me show you this. Okay, firstly, this one's ready. So, let's get them off there. Look at that. Nice. Filled with nice, healthy seeds. Okay, this one, the birds already started picking it. Get in here. You can see right there where they just started chewing on it. fruit. So the ones that are not ripe are darker in color and I'm going to leave them be for now. Okay, is there another one? Alright, this one's ripe but it's kind of small. But you can see by the color that it's ready to pick. It came right off. Alright. This is another flying saucer. Here's another one that's not ready to pick. It's still dark. Get close up in there. Now these plants are really nice. The flowers smell good and they're very pretty. Uh, but when they're not blooming, you really almost don't even notice the plant. All right, there's the harvest for today. These seeds are ready to go to the next step, which is the cleaning process, and I'll try and include some pictures of the results. Thanks everybody for watching, and thanks for subscribing, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hello again. Thought I'd just uh, let you guys see what's growing under the mesquite tree here. How's that for a color contrast? You like that? Yeah, look at that. Got all kinds of colors in this one. Look at that, another horse crippler. I gotta remember to come back and get this one. Cause I like horse cripplers. Now what we have here are <clears throat> some nice little barrels. These are called ferrocactus glaucessens. Or is it ferrocactus glaucosans or something like that? They're nice little ferrocactus, and there's about 10 of them here with fruit I need to pick, so let me show you a little of that. But look at this first. The ants are in here. Let me get a close up. Okay. Yeah, the ants are in here. They, they like the fruit and the seeds. So we let them have a little. But uh, look. Take this one off here. And that's what they look like. Thanks for watching. Now with this right here. This is the end of the Pharaoh Cactus demonstration. A nice little harvest there. Let's compare the Ferrocactus rectospinus flowers. Look at that. These are some nice plants here. Bees are working for us. We love them. Like that? Well, I thought I was done with the video, but I thought you guys might want to see what's going on here. Yeah. There's definitely something going on.
Thanks for watching. Ah, the air is filled with such a nice aroma. Look at that. Wow. There's a buzz fest this morning. What can I say? This is awesome. Really speechless today. Here's another review for you. How about that? Like it? Okay, great. Thumbs up if you like bees. We got them over here. Did you think I was done with the video? I found another flower. Look at them go. Got a whole buttload of bees in here. Get it guys, all right. Another flying saucer. Okay, you gotta stay, <clears throat> stay tuned all the way to the end for this part. Holy smokes, did I miss one? Out here by the boxes. It's not right. I'll have to wait a couple days. If you can tell me the name of this Trichocereus, I will worship you. Because I would like to collect this fruit also. Get out of the picture. Look at that fruit. Yeah. Ripe and ready to go. Pretty solid. Maybe it wasn't ripe. I don't know. Well, it's uh, very close to being ripe. I bet there's lots of good seeds in there. So if you know the name of this pretty yellow flowered Trichocereus, I'd really like to know. Thanks. There he is. Can you see him? Oh look, there's another one. What's up little buddy? Where are you going? Don't you want to be famous? Come on out. Bird's nest in a cactus. Yeah, we get a lot of that around here. Alright, let's get some bee action in there. What's going on here, guys? Need some fun on these flowers? Here he comes, here he go. Oh no, yeah. No? There's one. Over there too. Okay, this is what happened. They all came over here. Look at that. Yeah! That one's not open, buddy. Crawl on the other one. They're moving a little slow this morning. It's still kind of cold, I guess. All right, now that you've seen the <clears throat> desert spiny that the cat dragged in, let me show you some of these plants growing under the mesquite tree here. Oh, look, there's some flowers. All right. This one is called an Arizona Queen of the Night. 
have a large tuber that grows under the ground, a big succulent. And then they grow these tall, skinny stems and have relatively good sized flowers and fruit. And the scientific name is Paniocereus gregii. And this variety is Transmontanus. Okay, now over here, we've got this plant snaking around under this tree. This is a Hericea. And there's some more Queen of the Night over here. Oh good, more flowers. Can't wait. And we've got some ripe flying saucer. Yeah, that's right. This is the plant from the smelly cactus video. Okay, they're kind of small. These two are ready to come off. Let's get them. Okay, and these two I'll wait till tomorrow at least. And this little one's got some flowers coming. And this right here is a euphorbia. This one's called Moroccan Mound. It's kind of cool. They look better when they're in flower. Okay, I hope you like that. Okay, this one's uh, gonna be a big one, but it's not ready yet, so I'm gonna leave it. These two, on the other hand, ready to go. And this is the last one for this video, because I want to show you guys the next step. Okay, on to the next step. Alright, we're back here, out here by this one. And this one's still a couple days away from being ripe. It's going to be a big one though. Okay, now it's one of the final stages of the process. is the cleaning. And what I have to do is take all the pulp and seeds out and put them through this filter bag. And wash out all the goo. And I'll spare you that detail and show you the aftermath. Okay, this is halfway through the washing process. You can see this is really gooey stuff. It's just dripping out. And the rind, the leftover outside piece, that can go into the mulch pile. Mother Nature that for the microbes okay so what's left is mainly seed and pulp fiber and goo I gotta finish cleaning it out okay now that I washed out all the goo these out on a plate. Okay, smile if you like ca uh, flying saucers and cactus. There we have it. The, these are going to be going into a dark location to dry out overnight. Alright, the seeds have dried overnight and they're almost ready for the final step there's one thing that I have to show you, so we don't want to touch them yet. Okay, what we need to do now is we need to wash up and make sure our hands are perfectly clean so we don't get any grungy finger goo into the seed bag. So I'm going to do that now. Now I have a clean bowl here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the seeds off of the plate <clears throat> into the bowl, like this. Now there's a little bit of fiber that sticks to the plate, but we don't care about that. 
And here we have it. Now there's still a lot of fiber in there, funiculi, uh, unfertilized ovules, and rind fiber. And I'm going to take this outside and let it blow away in the wind. Okay, I've got most of the fiber broken up here. I want you to see this. I don't know how well that's showing up, but it's blowing away. I'm getting rid of a lot of it. Wow, there's more blooms coming out. I guess I'll be collecting more of this fruit later on. Okay, I've got all the seeds cleaned here pretty pretty well. I got all the fiber, most of the fiber moved and uh, most of the duds. So we're ready to go into the bag. You have to remember to label your bag and make sure you put the year on there just in case it's a couple years before you get around to germinating. All right, I hope you liked it. It's uh, a flying saucer cactus. Seriously, folks. If you uh, like the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and tell all your friends that you know how to pick cactus fruit. Look at that. There you have it. So now we can all grow more cacti. Alright folks, thanks for watching. All right, this is a bit of the release here. Everybody gets to see. Bye-bye, Mr. King Snake. Found himself a shady spot. Yeah, I was hoping he would go there. That's all right, it looks cool. Bye-bye.